My name is Keith Rucker. Got an interesting little project here that we're going to knock out, hopefully pretty quickly, uh, for the museum. A fairly simple little project that uh, needs to be done. Uh, the museum has an antique uh, Model T, uh, Ford Model T uh, truck uh, that was donated recently to the museum by a, uh, a person that has just been a long time uh, liker of the museum. Uh, anyway, he donated it. Uh, but it was needing a little bit of work. It's actually pretty nice, but it was needing a little bit of work. And uh, we've got a fella that works out here, or volunteers out here, I guess, actually, uh, that has done a lot of Model T restorations in the past, and he's helping us uh, with that. I know nothing about Model T Fords, guys. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not a car guy. Uh, I love restoring machinery. Uh, vehicles, I just, I don't know. I've never gotten into it. Don't take that the wrong way. I, I love a, a good restoration. I just don't. Uh, personally enjoy doing that but I do get in, tied in a lot of times when there's a, a machining project for a restoration that needs to be done such as this. So this uh, piece here uh, fits up onto the steering wheel. Uh, this goes into the column and uh, coming out of that is this little uh, gear that comes up in the bottom and this is where the steering wheel screws on up here. And over the years this thing has just worn out. This little uh, piece in here both the uh, this uh, casting, probably most of the wear is in this casting, although some of the wear is probably on this shaft as well. So the nice thing about Model T's is, is that you can actually order just about any part off of one that you want. Uh, there are companies out there make reproduction parts for just about anything. And uh, so they ordered a new one of these little shafts, a uh, little gear piece here, and they ordered it because this is a common problem, so I'm told, uh, that these wear so this part up here is actually a little bit oversized so what we're going to do is is basically make this piece fit in here but before we do that the first thing i want to do is take this uh the the cover here that, that this fits up into we're going to bore this out uh, on the lathe uh, just enough to clean it up uh, to get a very true bore in here once that is done we'll measure that and we will uh, turn this piece between center uh, to, to make it fit. So this has got centers on both sides so we should be able to put that between centers and uh, turn this section in here to make all this fit. So that's the task uh, for a Model T steering. I've spent a few minutes trying to get this thing set up in here and there is no real good way of holding this piece. This is, this is not a machined surface anywhere on it for all practical purposes. Uh, it looks like it's just uh, uh, stamped out press metal basically uh, so in other words I don't have a machine surface to work off of but you know I have got this thing on the inside there you know we've got it down to yeah uh, you just say ten thousandths maybe eight or nine thousandths but still uh, and then the bore uh, I use my inside hole attachment uh, on the indicator here to reach down inside that hole and uh, you know we've got about the same amount of run out in there so I, I have spent probably 20 minutes sitting here playing with this thing, repositioning it. This is about as good as I can get. So uh, we're just going to go with it. And again, I've just got this, I've got this chuck tight enough to hold it, but I'm not cranking down on it because this is pretty thin down here. Uh, you know, it's, you got some material in there, but it's not, it's not real thick. So I don't want to crush it. Uh, I think that's going to hold fine. We're going to take real light cuts with the boring bar and hopefully get that cleaned out. Let's give it a try. I've got little teeny tiny uh, boring bar stuck down in here and I've got you guys zoomed in with my GoPro camera pretty close. Hopefully you can see this. It's real tight quarters. Um, but we're gonna try to bore this out now. And like I said, all we wanna do is just get a good clean board through there uh, and take off no more metal than absolutely necessary. So let's get her going. <laughs>
if you can see that on the camera, but it cleaned up except for just one little small part in the back uh, where that back side is a little bit uh, bell mouth. So uh, we're going to take just a few more thousands to make another pass. took about six thousandths on that pass and I think I'm going to take about two or three more and I think I'll have it. Hopefully you can see down in that bore and we got it mostly cleaned up there may be just one little small holiday in there but I can live with it I took about a total of 12 thousandths out of there all together I think that's gonna be good so my original plan was is I was gonna mount this piece between centers and uh, turn it down to fit however after making some measurements I realized that once I bored this out I was only within about uh, a thousandth or two of being where I needed to be so instead of doing the turning uh, I just chuck this up on there it's got a little bit of run out in it but I'm just using some emery cloth and I'm just going to polish this out in fact I, I'll just lightly hit it and it just about fits on there now I got quite the clearance I want so we're going to polish that out just a little bit more I think that's right on the money. All right, so I got David King here with me. David is the uh, uh, director of uh, the, the museum's uh, restoration and maintenance department, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Model T truck here. So, David? This is a 1925 uh, Ford Model T truck. It's called a TT model, and it was donated to us by Mr. Ellis Brown, who recently passed away in Tifton, Georgia. And uh, Mr. Tom Gerardo has been doing a lot of work on this truck lately. He uh, adjusted the bands on the clutch and put new clean spark plugs in it and new wires and been tightening up bolts and putting bearings and bushings and kingpins and different things in it. And Keith made us a, or, or fixed an oversized steering wheel bushing or steering wheel shaft that goes into the, uh, I think it's called a planetary gear or something. It's three little pinions that turn in the steering column and they go right in here you can see two of them right there those two are new and uh, that piece that Keith was working on meshes with those two gears and when he gets gets it finished we'll put it in place and try it out see if Tom's happy with it he said it was too much slop in the steering he didn't want to go too far with it like that go down here connects it to the I don't know if you call that a pitman arm. I don't know what you call that thing down there, but anyway, it's the steering rod. Tom would know the terminology. Ain't much to that old engine. <laughs> they flat go. Yep, four cylinder. This one's been modified. It doesn't have the coils inside the cab. It's got a distributor and everything, but, uh, 
It sounds just like the old one. <laughs> and it runs about the same. It's just got a little different way of getting the fire. All right, so that was a pretty simple job. Um, didn't even have to turn that, just polished it out. Uh, took about 12 thousandths, I think, out of this. Just poured it out. Uh, it goes together very nicely now, real tight. Uh, the other one had slop in it. Uh, it was worn more at the top. It was bell mouth. Uh, that's a really nice fit. So um, we'll let Tom get this put back on the Model T and check one more step off of that project. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, thank you to all my many subscribers out there.